Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tani and I'm gonna be doing an unboxing because I finally got some protective gear. I have some pads from doing roller derby for a short amount of time, but these are huge and bulky and much better for like impact or if I was gonna be doing some crazier tricks, maybe at the skate park. I wanted some for when I was trying to do some dance tricks at the tennis court and that way if I'm protected but I have good maneuverability still. Let's go ahead and open these up and check them out. Oh yeah! These are the Smith Scabs. When I first tried to get these they were all sold out. I was laying in bed one random night and I knew that they were going to restock them but I didn't remember exactly when and I went online and all of a sudden they were there and the only reason I actually went to go look at them again, I think I was double checking the price and I was like, are they seriously in stock? It had like the add to cart button, the, it didn't have the like not in stock anymore button. I was like, no way, they're in stock. And so I bought them. Well, right after that, I saw on like an Instagram page the next day, they let everybody know like, hey, these are back in stock. And I was like, that's awesome. These ones are the cotton candy and they are iridescent pink. And I was so drawn to them. I was like, that is super cute. Because I know they have silver holographic ones of rainbow colors and stuff. What is so weird though, is last year, I really couldn't stand pink. <laughs> like I was not vibing pink at all. It's kind of how I've always been. I go through different patterns of like what my favorite colors are. For instance, the longest time I didn't like blue. So yeah, anyway, uh, for whatever reason, I was super excited about this color. So I will unzip so we can get a better look at them. I winged it and ordered a size small. I really probably should have checked better to see if that was going to fit me. In most things, I am a size small, so I kind of was just like, oh yeah, probably size small in these too. But <laughs> We'll find out. They are seriously beautiful. That is so satisfying to me. I don't know if the camera like fully picks it up, but it's iridescent. Iridescent is like my favorite color. You can have iridescent blue, iridescent purple, iridescent white, iridescent pink, iridescent black. Like that oil look oh, is, is just, I love it. These would be the elbow pads. Okay, and then the wrist guards, the knee pads. I don't even want to wear these because I don't want them to get scuffed and all dirty. <laughs> they are awesome. Okay, before we go any further, we broke 300 subscribers. Super excited. We're very close to 500 and at 500 I'm doing a giveaway. If you want to be a part of that, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload. It's going to be most likely just a gift card to whatever roller skating shop that you want it so you can get roller skating gear and for a certain amount. That way you can either put it towards skates or protective gear or wheels or just kind of what you want. I like that it comes with a little zip up case. Like you could just continue to use this and it would keep them nice. And I actually probably will do that because if you've seen my roller skating bags and notice how I said bags, that's plural because I have to haul with me not only my stuff, 
but my baby's stuff. And then like, if Koi is with us, we have like, four or five different bags. Cause the diapers, bottle, and then there is safety gear that we bring. And then there's my other daughter's rollerblades and all of her safety gear. And it just goes on and on. Like, <laughs> it's like a whole huge process just to get into the car to go skate. But it's worth it and it's fun. It just cracks me up. So a little organizer like this, that was my whole point, is that it would keep at least something organized in the five different bags that we carry around. Let's go ahead and roll out. I'm gonna try these on while I go for a skate and take you along with me. Okay, the moment of truth to see if these fit and if each one of them fits each of my limbs. That's one of the things I've heard about these is a lot of people may only fit in like one size for their knees and then they need another size for their elbows and like wrists they can all be different sizes so that is a problem with buying the same size in like three different styles that you need oh my gosh i don't know okay we good we good these ones have like the little band backing and then the straps Next up, elbows. Same thing for these, has a little band backing. Now the wrist guards. These are probably some of the most important ones for me. I have caught myself a couple times falling forward. Like one time my toe stopped rolled off my skate and I didn't know that it did and I just all of a sudden like, shot forward super hard. And I was lucky to catch myself but it was close. So I'm gonna put my skates on and take these for a little ride. With these, I think I'll finally be ready to remove my toe stops and put jam plugs in. So that is going to happen this week so that I can get my dribble down. Overall, I am very happy with these. The color is a dream. It actually makes me want to wear them even more. I would say with the fit, I'm glad I went with a size small. The only ones that didn't fit that great were the elbows. They were just a little bit snug, whereas my knees and my wrist guards were fine. I forgot to mention before that I ordered these from scabs.com and I went back online tonight to look for them again and I think the adult ones are all sold out. My best guess is they'll restock them eventually. Because of their popularity, I'm sure that they'll bring them back or at least I hope so for any of you out there that see these and really want them. They were right around, I think like $49.95. They do have others. They have like a black and white checkered that are really cute and they have some solid colors. They have some like more of a rainbow color going. They have quite a few cute ones. As far as protection goes and a full review, I would need a little bit more time, of course, just because I feel like with roller skating stuff, a lot of it, you need time in the product to be able to really give a good review. I thought I would show you really quick too what I was talking about. These are the Smith Scabs as well. These are actually a size extra small, but I wanted to show you what I meant by kind of bulky. You can see the difference in size right here. Like this just kind of goes around the knee and covers it. These work so good for derby. I could go full blast where you fall on your knees and you just slide and I didn't feel anything on my knees. They were fully protected. These are great knee pads for that. But when I'm trying to do more of a like dance skate or more of an artistic style skate, the bulky kind of gets in the way for that. So that's where I'm stoked on these where they're a little bit more small, but I'm still protected because when you're learning new things, you have a much better chance of falling down for sure. I will definitely update you after they are used more, but overall 
I'm happy and I'm super excited to use them a whole bunch more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.